Okay, so thanks to Annika's lessons, I have decided to make a video business card, which makes perfect sense because uh, 30 seconds is great for giving people a snapshot of who you are, what you do, and how you can help. So I thought this would be really useful for my social media pages. And it was a little scary though, to be honest, because honestly, I really dislike being on camera. I'm not a big fan of talking head uh, lectures and that sort of thing. I always look a little bit weird and I just prefer to be a voice behind a screencast. But that said, for a video business card, you do have to be on camera. So I'll uh, turn the sound on in a moment, but this is the one that I created that I used as a pin tweet on my Twitter account and I also pinned it as my pinned post on my Facebook page. So um, just a couple of things that I chose to do before I play it for you. Um, I decided, I'll just uh, hit play again so you can kind of see it in the background. Okay. So basically I decided to find a nice location outside as opposed to just my boring wall of my apartment. And I went to a park called Villa Pamfili in Rome, Italy, away from street noise. So I had to kind of go deep, deep, deep in the park. And I found some pretty things like statues and uh, old walls, etc. I chose to film on a sunny day that had some cloud, so it was a bit of a diffused light, which is a really great ideal lighting condition. And I made sure that the sun was shining in front and to the side of me and not behind. If the sun were behind me, it would kind of make a silhouette effect or shine into the camera, which would not be good. So if you're shooting outside on an overcast or cloudy day or partly sunny day, that's a really good condition for light. I used my directional microphone, which uh, was fairly close by. I just had my laptop with me with my webcam and my microphone attached. A lapel mic would have probably been even better, but that's what I had with me. My Samson Go mic, which is a really nice yet inexpensive microphone that clips right onto your computer. And finally, just before I play it for you, I um, intentionally kept my location and job title very general. I don't get into details. And that way I can continue to use my video um, business card wherever I go in the months ahead without having to update it. Because right now I live in Rome, Italy, but this summer I'm actually moving to Myanmar in Yangon and I didn't want to <laughs> try to explain that in under 30 seconds. So I kept everything really general and, you know, I can always make another one of these once I'm there. Also, I'm on a leave of absence from the American University of Rome and I may be doing other things once I'm in Myanmar. So again, I didn't get into those specific details just so I can use this video business card wherever I go without having to worry about updating details. Okay, so here is my, <laughs> I want to say masterpiece, but not quite because I'm really not a big fan of uh, talking head videos, but this is what I made for better or for worse. So you tell me what you think. Hi, my name is Kristen Palana. I'm an artist, educator, and author, teaching thousands of university students around the world since 2000. I've also been teaching online since 2014 to tens of thousands of students. I specialize in helping ordinary people do extraordinary things through simple, clear explanations and baby steps building up to larger things. How can I help you today? Okay, so that was exactly 30 seconds. Let me see if I can find a screenshot where I don't look too weird. <laughs> uh, you, I caught myself uh, not looking at the camera in that one. Anyway, um, so a couple of other tips for making a good 30 second video. This is exactly 30 seconds. And let me tell you, unfortunately, it doesn't take 30 seconds to make a 30 second video. You have to kind of really... Um, work hard to get it 30 seconds or under. So do expect that it will take time. This took me a couple of hours actually, and it's not perfect. I'm not 100% happy with how I look, what I said, blah, blah, blah. But um, a couple of do's. Do definitely try to be natural and also try to ramp up your energy. Try to be more 
enthusiastic than you otherwise would be because energy is one of the first things that get lost in a talking head type video. So I tried to be more friendly and more enthusiastic than normal. And I also was trying to film when there weren't joggers or, you know, um, pe mothers with baby buggies going by. Um, so definitely try to be as natural as possible. When I was choosing my clothing, I didn't put too much thought into my clothing, but I did think that the park was going to be rather green. So I wore red for contrast. Also, red is a really good color for increasing energy. It's the my color that I would wear uh, at nine o'clock in the morning on a Monday morning when teaching university students to kind of ramp up the energy in the room. So it can be a really good choice for your video calling card. I actually also use uh, dark blue, which is the best color to use for a job interview. You see it in my profile picture. I'll scroll up at the top here for a minute. So the colors in my profile image are very intentional. This dark blue is a perfect choice for a job interview. It establishes loyalty and trust. So that me might be another good option. And here I have the red in my necklace to inject a bit of energy. And then the green background, which is calming. So another thing in my, um, in my video calling card, I'm more or less happy with what I said, but then there's this one sentence that's a little bit vague. Let's see if I can play it for you. Specialize in helping ordinary people do extraordinary things through simple, clear explanations and baby steps building up to larger things. How can I help you today? So the part before the how can I help you today is okay, but if I could go back and redo it again, I might change my wording a little bit to be more clear. The problem was in 30 seconds, I had almost no time to say anything and I teach so many different kinds of courses. So what I ended up doing is going back in and adding this bit of text to better explain what those quote unquote things are that I was talking about. Okay, and then the final thing that I would just mention is putting in at the very end and give yourself at least three to five seconds for this so that eats into your time that you have to talk about yourself. But you could put in a call to action so you could say, come learn more at my website or enroll now or sign up now, whatever it is. Or failing that, I didn't do that. I actually just put my little calling card that's in all of my online courses. And it just has Professor Polana at your service because I do want to be of service. So that's important for me. And then my website. Later in other lessons, we'll talk about the specific social media platforms. So Twitter, for example, only en ends how your video ends. But Facebook, on the other hand, allows you to add a call to action to your video. So each social media platform is going to be different. I made the one video and then I've put it up on different social media platforms. So anyway, hopefully learn what to do or not do from my video calling card. In the end, I could have done about 20 more uh, takes. I actually did lots of takes. And the one that I ended up using was maybe the fourth one out of five. But I did spend about a good hour in the park just trying to get it right. And in the end, done is better than perfect. And I may make another one of these in a couple months time. But for now, this is okay. And this is what I've put online. Okay, see you in the next lesson.